Hello, Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. This is going to be a quick overview of receiving purchase orders with a mobile scanner. Not really going to go into great detail on actually doing a receive, but I want to give you a really quick overview of what's available in Finale. How can it, uh, how do we achieve um, the success rate in receiving your items into the inventory with the use of a mobile scanner? So let's get started. So I'm going to pull up a Finale inventory here, and at the same time I'll pull up a view of my scanner here shortly. So let's talk about receiving uh, purchase orders. So Finale does have a purchase order module. You go to the purchase order screen. This is where you can add and create new purchase orders. You can see that the screen is kind of laid out. You can see the status of the purchase orders. I've got some editable ones, some committed ones. I can see some that are fully received, some that are not received, some that are partially received. How does all this play with the mobile scanner? So the scanner is extremely intelligent. So let's uh, pull the scanner up here so you can see what would go on. Now you're going to use a mobile scanner, meaning an Android based type scanner, and download our application to it. So once you download the application, you're going to sync it. So it's a synchronization process. So as I, as I bring up my Android scanner, I would do a sync. This sync process is going to log into your cloud account and download the latest information from your account to the scanner so that now you can basically go anywhere you want to in your business in the warehouse. You don't have to have Wi-Fi in the warehouse at this moment in time. That's what's nice about this way. We, we get on the Wi-Fi, we we download the information from your Finale Inventory Cloud, and then we get off the Wi-Fi. Now you can go out and do your receiving without having to have Wi-Fi. So that's kind of the next step, is you would go and then go after the, the purchase orders you want to receive. So if you notice, you do a receive operation. It's going to ask you for an order ID. The order ID that you would use is going to become is going to be coming from this order ID that's in Finale. Now we have all kinds of ways to assist you with this. You would um, be able to take um, an order ID and you would be able to print it. So let me show you. You would be action menu. You can print purchase orders with barcodes. And if I showed you um, how that comes out, you can see that there would be a way that we print documents to assist you in receiving. So this document has an order ID at the top, which is your purchase order. It even has helper barcodes on the line items. If your items don't come in with labels, we can still give you a barcode to be able to receive. Not only that, in the receiving process, you might need to label your objects. So you can always label your objects. You would get those labels from the shipment page. We have videos that show you how to do this, but effectively you go to the action menu and you would print receiving labels. You can have more than one type of receiving label even. When you print these, they will generate labels, either labels for thermal labels like this, so I've got individual labels I can peel off, or I might print them to an Avery label style. So in combination with us pre-printing labels or labels for your products, or you can just use the um, printed paper and receive things in, you're going to use these things to do the receiving on the barcode scanner. So now that you've seen a little bit of information there, the other thing let's point out is, is that all these purchase orders are on the screen. Now a lot of them are received. You can see the statuses here. Some are partially received. These all won't show up in the scanner. So if I pull this scanner back, Let's see if I can get my scanner showed up. If I touch the or um, the the screen, it kind of just shows me I only have three purchase orders. And you might say well, there's a lot more than three purchase orders here on this screen. That's because Finale is very intelligent. We're not going to download purchase orders that you've already received. So if you look here, I've only got um, these two are not received, and this one's not received, and this one, and this one's partial. Well, I'm still only getting three. Well, we only download committed ones. So if I was to, you know, get rid of the editable from my view here, then I'm shrinking down. And then if you notice, these are fully received, so it's not going to download this. So it's going to download this one, this one, and this partially received one down here. So you can see that one, that's number 10. See, there's only one item left to be received on this. This is how we're going to help you do receiving. So you could either choose one from the screen, or you could scan the barcode off of this piece of paper, and then you begin the receiving process. That's how you achieve using the scanner to receive. So I could, I could select this purchase uh, order, then I would scan a location in my warehouse. So we help you produce the labels to put on your shelves, your racks, your bays, and your bin. And you would scan that barcode to let the scanner know where you are. And just to show you that, you would find those in your 
um, report section, go to labels, and over here on the side where it says other labels, I can print out my warehouse labels. So this is just an example in this uh, test account here where I could print out labels to stick on my shelves. So now you can see the whole thing coming together. I've got barcodes I would peel off and stick on my shelves or bins or areas and I would choose one of those. So I can scan these labels or I can click on the screen and choose I want it to go into A3. From this point forward you're scanning barcodes and you're actually doing the receiving. The scanner is going to guide you and validate you at each step. Now once you do the receiving you can also check your progress while you scan and you can see how this the scanner has everything that is in this purchase order. So if I was to go back here we've got a lot of things in this purchase order and you can see the quantities over here um, on the side. So we've got a blue polo large that's in here somewhere and I, I'm expecting three of them. So every item that's on this PO is showing up on the screen here. There may be more so I can page through the items um, and review my progress. When I get done you're going to be exiting the the receiving operation and then you're going to do a sync. Now you must do the sync to send it back up here to the cloud. So it ends after you do the entire receiving process. You will sync the scanner again and it will transmit up what you did in the receiving process and you were through. And that's a very quick overview of some of the capabilities that are in Finale's receiving process with the mobile scanner. Check out our other videos on how to actually do detailed different types of operations in scanning for receiving.